Families were strangers until yesterday when they met here at VCU Medical Center for the first time. Bonded by acts of violence, they say they vow to use these tragedies for good. That's grandma baby, he'll pull through. Herniatha Atkinson holds on to hope outside VCU Medical Center Friday. He's on a breathing machine, but he can breathe on his own. They just don't want him to work on his own. Hope for her grandson, two-year-old LaVere Robinson. She says someone driving by their Winston Street home Tuesday night shot the baby as he stood at the front door. He's been stable, all viruses are completely stable. He's fighting. Thursday, someone who knows LaVere's fight well paid him a visit. Kamaya came to see him. Unfortunately, she couldn't come in the room. Six-year-old Kamaya Edwards survived a gunshot on Byron Street in April after she was hit while playing. The bullet hit her in the head, too. There's too many guns floating around Richmond. Kamaya's mother and LaVere's grandmother say they'll use their tragedies to do good. We're going to try to get some kind of shooting advocate program together for just these kids that's getting hurt for senseless crimes. But these children are fighters. They didn't expect Kamaya to make it overnight, but look at her, she's running around playing. That same resilience is what this grandmother hangs on to as LaVere continues his fight. She's very active. She was all over the hospital, she's very active. And I can't wait for LaVere to have that same energy again. Well, while this baby's progress here at VCU Medical Center is good news, Henrico police say they still need the public's assistance with finding the shooter, and they say they will work with that community to bring this young victim justice.